Today we are looking at two different types of elm. This is more of the conventional elm and this one and this one is the Seiju and Elm. So on the left is a more traditional Chinese elm and to the right slightly is the Seiju and Elm. And they both have slight different characteristics, but being an elm, um, both are quite hardy. Um, they take our extreme summers extremely well, um, and they're not bothered by our basic cold. I'm not sure how cold you could... Okay, this one here has a massive trunk. Um, the trunk and the root flare are all together. And as we go up, um, it leads to a nice apex for about a dozen to 15 years, perhaps a little bit longer. Uh, I believe this was from a root cutting. This is the Seiju N Elm. And as it matures, you'll get this very rough bark, uh, almost like cork. Uh, but it's spotty at times. Now this one I've been working on for 12 to 15 years. Um, it was from a hardwood cutting. So these elms can be made in a number of different ways. If I started these from seed, it probably would take more like 30 or 40 years to get to this stage. You notice that the leaves are very small and tight. Well, this is not the natural, but if you keep trimming at it and keep it slightly root bound in a container, that will happen in uh, time with most Chinese elm. I think both of these are in a pretty good shape. Um, I just trimmed both of them so if you were to put this in a show, I think you should have like a two week recovery so it doesn't look just pruned. But I wanted to prune slightly heavy just so I could show you the structure. So this is Hiro Matsuda saying, well, I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. And I'll be making more on different uh, plant materials that has turned out rather nicely. So uh, please keep checking my website, masteryo.com. I'll see you again real soon.